Well, ladies and gents, have you seen Mr. Baldrick? <laughs> and uh, my really old, uh, I say the second covert spot with uh, Des. Always good to see you, sir. Good to see you, uh, mate. And he's brought along his boy, Jake. He likes coming out with his dad. It's always nice to see uh, dads bringing us boys out, you know what I mean? And yeah, definitely. Quality time, sir. Yeah. Priceless. Long time coming, though, mate. He ain't yeah. been out for... He just, I don't know, he was young when he lost his well, 12 he's, now. He's, he's, he's just discovered ladies, and he's so... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's yeah, got... Yeah. A, <laughs> well, no, not so much... <laughs> no, no, he's just blushing, I'll bless him. And all that, yeah. That's how they sort of communicate with each other, you yeah. know? But, yeah, no, he's, he's out. He's good, he's good. Okay. To get you out. A little fire going, got coffee going. Um, ain't got much on the itinerary today. Um, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll do it as a separate film, but um, yeah, I must admit, I forgot about it. The old uh, one tigress tent. Uh, I had no problems. He um, shot me money back straight away, mate, and uh, did say at the time I said, you know, they've uh, had a look at it. Um, I pulled it out just indoors, I only had it a day and a bit. Uh, and it looks pretty okay, mate. But we'll we'll put it up and see because it looked yeah. okay last yeah. time until we put it up. Just making our little camp there. Just gonna get the boy on some breakfast, and I'll bring you back, ladies and gents. Well, I'll solve that problem. Mm. Just light up the stove right, instead. Okay. Oh, come on, mate. Okay, I didn't bring me spike. I should have brought it because you know um, for the power steer you made, but. Um yeah. Nah, it's just running things, just mate. Running things, but the thing is, you'll see, do you know that where I put slots down the back? You can always stay on your burger. Yeah, yeah, if you always, even if you take it out, just take the, you know, the um, pot hanger out. If you're not, definitely not going to use yeah. it. Leave the pouch there, mate. Yeah. You can stick something else in there if you needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's always there just to. Well, it's always there, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Nice one. He won't when he gets the stuff. Right. He's just because he's playing, isn't he? Yeah. He's Senses and has better hearing the lot, ain't they? But then there's a stuffy sticking roll. <laughs>
Pancakes are lovely, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. yeah, that mix is excellent. Yeah. Oh. Well, they're mixed. Yeah, stay there, mate, because he's had a bit of bacon, bless him, and, uh, you know, a dog of seafood and go for it, isn't he? But, yeah, pancakes, bacon, mate, you're definitely doing the business there, sir. Very oh, well, nice. I've got a boy to keep at it, haven't I? Oh, yes. Promote and, des and maintain the desire to learn. <laughs> definitely. How many, how many kids come out in the bush and then Dad cooks them breakfast? Serious, well, mate, just... My, you know, my daughter did when she was younger, you know what I mean, but... Obviously boyfriends and everything else oh, yeah, yeah. now. Yeah. And he went through a little phase of it, but I've coming out with me, didn't you? Coming out doing a bit of bushcraft and all that, but um, you know, we thought we'll have this weekend both of us, like, didn't we? So we come out, yeah. you know, so we went to the pictures and that yesterday and, and have a day out in the woods today. Quality, mate, quality. Quality, innit? Yeah, yeah. Priceless. Yeah. Serious. I mean, I'm normally I'm out either on myself or with other people, innit? So it's nice to come out. Cool. Oh. Him and Bob get on like, oh, well, don't they? Right, aren't they? They're <laughs> both going to sleep well tonight, I think. Mean. So yeah. dog, dog knows nice people. Oh, of course yeah, they do. No, yeah, I mean, so. Of course they do. <laughs> Definitely. Let me see Mr. Baldrick there. Oh, I'm on the lead. <laughs> what are you doing, Dad? He's got his bacon, Dad. He's bacon. Oh, he's got his bacon. It's my best thing. It's my best thing. <laughs> it's my best thing. It's my best thing. <laughs> Baldrick, it's, it's, it's called covert spot for a word. <laughs> yeah. You've got to stay there, mate. You've got to learn your etiquette. So you've had a bit of bacon. Yeah, I did get a bit, didn't I, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, ladies and gents, yeah. yeah. Got to be done, got to be done, got to get a bra on. Very nice. And there we see uh, Miss, Miss, Mr. Baldrick, when he sees the hammock, he just goes and gets on it. <laughs> oh, what a picture. Jake, take your mask off for a minute. I can't. No, you're all right. It's yeah. all right. Baldrick. Oh. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> you just see how much, mate. You go and get on it, don't you? Go, I'll oh, do Call that. Me back, Jake. Good boy. Good boy. Wrong end, but good boy. <laughs> you want to hope we don't gup? <laughs> Baldrick, he just sees that hammock and he goes and gets it. See uh, Dave's boy. Uh, probably got some of my DNA there because he's zipped up the hammock and he's gonna keep with this way up now. Uh, Mr. Baldrick. Have a good kit? Yeah. Nice one. Where the dog was laying there, it stinks now. Stinks a doggy? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Smaller one, uh, you know, Mears he doesn't, doesn't he? Yeah. Ray Mears? Yeah. Please don't mention that because you know where the prices are there, sir. So. <laughs> no, they're not that, I think they're not that bad actually. You know, they're not that bad at all. Oh, yeah, I've got mine as a safe in the wilderness gathering. Someone had it up for about 30 quid or something. Yeah. 40 quid away, and I managed to get it, I bought it the day before it finished for 20 quid. Mm. Because they're copper based as well, aren't they? So yeah. they really generate the heat yeah. quite quickly, even with the mat, even you know, cooking it, boiling it or something like that. Uh, my missus had some copper bottomed stainless steel pans. All right, they've got a glass Pyrex lid and that. She was gonna knock them out or take them to her church. I went, oh, you just took them down Dave's oh, permission. Took them down Dave's, that, yeah. all the, that bag that time you had yeah. all the pots in it. Yeah. Don't have away like this, you know. Yeah. They get used, you know. Yeah. Somebody whops them away or whatever, which, uh, you know, doesn't happen that far. Job done. Yeah. See, one thing I'm gutted with though, mate, uh, my old chair there, my old faithful, yeah. your, boy, your boy fell in love with that, didn't he? Uh, but it, you, he, he's got one now, he can, yeah, yeah you set him up on that, mate. Yeah. Uh, MTP and that, but see the camouflage material on that, mate, it's kind of like Rhodesian yeah, type Rhodesian, of stuff. Isn't yeah, it? Um, got enough to make a big tarp, and, you know, there was enough left over to make a, um, a, uh, the seat as you so, see yeah. it. I can string it up to be a, 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 a sit hammock just by putting power cord through the other side. 
Um, but yeah, I just wish we could get older more than that. It's cracking. Um, that camo is, isn't it? Yeah, it's cracking. Very old, isn't it? It's like sort of 1970s, yeah, right? yeah. 70s, 60s. Well, some of the best camos is, I mean, I, I was at a show yesterday and you got all the Germans. As I said there, we don't talk about the Germans, but however, deception, nobody could touch the British in the First World War. But two weeks after Normandy, Hitler and all his top boys were still sure we were going to come across at Calais, yeah? Uh, there were, you know, even Patton. Um, you know, the, the, the invisible fifth army and that. But when it comes to individual camouflage, mate, the Germans had it, so... Um, yeah, Germans had, and yeah, stuff. Oh, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah Z-Barns and all that sort of stuff, yeah. mate, yeah. No, that, that, they proper had that. Go, go give them that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, unlike the French, at least, least, least they, they fall. <laughs> and the Italian tanks love them, mate. Yeah. One gear forward, five gears back. Oh, so like, you, you remember, that, remember the, the, the police officer, not the police officer, you had the English police officer, but do you remember the, the Italian guy that was in Hello, Hello? And it was always like, one for the ladies and all that, wasn't it? Yeah. He had a right, even though, you know, it was a right sort of corny Italian accent that he was doing. Cause the ladies, yeah. Well, I, I have noticed that, mate. I mean, it's probably just something the Italians are, uh, are brought, brought up with. But do you know when they go, "Hello, hello, ladies, yeah. I am Italian," as if that makes uh, makes like them sort of some sort of sex god yeah, or some yeah, real yeah. big difference, like yeah. you know, I'm Italian. Well, you know who's at that? Um, you know who's at that Mount Fitchett, uh, That that show next week. That, uh, you know that show you're talking about, the yeah. one at uh, the Barnes. Old um, Helga and Hair Flick are going to be there. Ah, oh, right. The real ones, yeah. Because oh, when you when I spoke to you yesterday, I actually sort of went on the website and had yeah. a look. Nice yeah, one, mate. And actually, yeah. Hair Flick and, and Helga's going to be there. Right. It is, a, it is a really getting a well-renowned, you know, good show, mate, you know. But um, there was this one guy, he was a German, mate, um, and we always have a little chat. He's got the, you know, the guard dog and, you know, all the military police stuff. And he looks, I mean, he's as British as me and you. He's got like a Yorkshire-type accent, which is funny when he speaks. Because yeah, yeah. he is the exact, what you'd think a German looks like, you know, yeah. like the square jaw and all that. Right. He's a cracking bloke, you know. Right. I've filmed him a few times. He's always there, mate. But he's got a cracking sense of humour. Yeah, but yeah, well, looking forward to that, mate. And it's nice, you know, I do one weekend off working and on call, and then one, uh, I've just obviously off on, off on with a um, cannon there, and I'm, I'm off that weekend, so, you know what I mean? You're going to go, sir. Oh, definitely, sir. Like I said, there, there's a lot of stalls there selling bits and bobs, mate. Yeah. Print for sleeping bags, yeah. print for 2000, uh, been used, washed, 40 quid. Yeah, I got on the phone, bought That's a few yeah. for the lads, yeah, I know. About 200, aren't they? Someone in sleep bags. Yes, mate. And uh, you know, the next time, I mean, David Fairs, you know, like the Land Rover chairs and all that. Mike had a big, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. David pulled out a lot of stuff and went, well, well there you go, sir. You know, proper hard dibble. And yeah. the bloke, you know, he don't like taking the stuff home, so yeah. he, he, we, we had some right results, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. not? It's a good show. Yeah, why not? You alright, mate? Trying to get this off. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Look at the old socks, mate. Yeah, a sea lion. <laughs> oh, oh, trying to get out of the... Oh, right? Baldrick's. Baldrick's coming to see you. Baldrick's coming to see you. Watch, he's going to jump up. He's going to jump up. He, he, he will. Go. Here you go. <laughs> He'll keep you warm. I tell you, he's lovely and warm now, he is. Oh, yeah. right, don't lick faces. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, Baldrick's all. I don't I'm like you, though. Go on, Baldrick. Get in there. Go on. Get in there. Yeah, this old temple at Warship, um, war that's, show, mate, yeah, that's, that's going to be good. If anybody's in Essex, that's a cracking little show. Mm. Take the kids and all sorts, mate. Yeah. We're going to Toby beforehand, which is quite near that way, because, uh, you know, the, when you buy a bacon sandwich yeah, and a cup yeah, of tea, it comes off. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's, it's like all the shows, mate, you know what I mean? It's like all the shows. Yeah. That's, uh, that's what... socks on. He's 12 years old, that's just like... You know what I mean? That's all right. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's, it's just expected that you've got yeah, odd got socks on there. Oh, yeah, because he's got two pairs of socks on. <laughs> yeah, you, you got out of that one smartish, mate. Nice one. He's <laughs> worried about getting his feet cold this morning, so I said, yeah, two pairs. Two pairs. Come in. <laughs> Sorry. You take my apology. No. <laughs> You're licking my nutsack. <laughs> I think you might have just been saying hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's a chip off the old block there, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely got your DNA in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but saying that, mate, as I just said, I um, had a nice little tip. I went in the old Sea Rider shop. I was going downtown just picking something up from my missus from Bomb Mart or whatever. Always going that little Sea Rider shop, mate. Um, yeah, bloody lovely stainless steel kettle. Um, 
you know, like one you'd put on your stove at home, but it's got no, no plastic on it or nothing, mate, yeah. you know? So, yeah, next time I'm down Dave's little permission, I'll bang that in there as a little camp kettle fiver. I was like, oh, oh. Yeah, got to have it. Yeah, it's got to be done, sir. Nice little uh, bit of birch tree down there. I'll have some of that bark off that when I get back. All I do now, which is over in that direction, just go and have a look at the old, uh, well, the covert, covert spot, which isn't exactly covert anymore because they knocked all the trees down. Yeah, it's just going to go for a quick wander. Mr. Baldrick is on point. Point man. But there, ladies and gents, literally you're looking at the covert spot now. I can see the table right in the middle of the screen. And as you can see, where they've had all the trees down, bless them. Took all the pines out. It's no longer covert. But I said I'll leave it soaked for a bit. If we don't end up going back there, I'll go in and collapse it all down and return it to normal. But yeah. Mr. Baldy. It's just as we come there, it seen something, it didn't know what it was, but there was a load of little baby monk jacks and they went chomp, shot shot across that barn. Baldrick, what are you doing? Come away. Baldrick. Yeah, it's uh, still there. Somebody's obviously been in there, ain't done nothing. But uh, you see that tree line there, ladies and gents. Uh, literally the one there where the big tree is there's a path down there and you often get dog walkers there so it's not exactly covert anymore uh, give it another month of growth and it will be it's, uh, it's a lovely little forest to come through you get annoyed by the plains but just nice having somewhere we can go there's an old uh, chair still there a little stump it's the ball, <laughs> Uh, the old table's still there that we made. Uh, there's only a couple of bits there, but um, obviously one of the, the wood on that side, we had a little wood store. Let's just give them away. Minor repairs needed. Uh, yeah, there's the old wood. And I know there's a plastic bag there, but there is dry wood in there, kindling. And uh, obviously I know someone's been in there because that's been turned over. The wind wouldn't have done that or thrown our saw horse down. But yeah, nobody's disturbed it. Say hello to my little friend, the covert spot. What did I say? Because when they ripped out all the trees, uh, see all that pathway there, it was just pure gauze bush, you know, you had to fight your way through. And that's what gives us the covert space, really, rather than the trees. But yeah, I'm just going to recover a couple of things I don't want here. And, uh, but yeah, if I don't, if you don't start using it regularly, I'll come down and just collapse it all. Take it back to how it was. I'm not going to get involved, but uh, Desi is uh, just teaching his boy a bit of carving, safety and all that. Fire sort of stuff. Oh. Baldrick! Baldrick! Don't go there, Sharps. Just teaching some sort of basic woodworking, wood carving skills, lovely lovely. Charcoal in there, so I might as well use it up. Yeah. Just uh, just make some charcoal. Nah, it's been a really nice Sunday. I don't know why it feels like a Saturday, but there you go. Yeah. Well, ladies and gents, I've just uh, we've got a bit of time. He's doing some carving, his boy's doing a bit of axe work properly. Um, on his knees so he don't injure himself with the axe and that. Um, I've had this thing for longer than I care to remember. Um, I think, well, just, it's from Gear Top. I uh, quite liked it because um, it can be set up as a, a tarp, as you can see there. It's from each end, I remember it's uh, three metres and probably like 190 wide, so it's thin and narrow. You'd certainly be under there with enough coverage. Um, yeah, 
bit of a funky camouflage, but you know, it's not a problem with that. Um, but you see the two black bits there and there, they zip and it turns into a, like a little um, pole tarpy tent, which is what I'm going to attempt to do it now. I bought this out many, many times, bought my nail bergen, but just never had time to have a little play about with it. Um, it wasn't too expensive, um, about the same price as DD tarp, I think, slightly less. Um, here we see Mr. Baldrick. So I'm going to have a little play with that and uh, stick a pole underneath it and see what's what. But yeah, them two sides are zipped together, ladies and gents. And here we see, ladies and gents, I've dropped the ridge line. I've just cut, roughly cut a pole to go underneath it. And it's kind of looking like a, a tarpe tent, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Because it's, like it's got a, a, a zip in the back. Um, you can get underneath there, I'm a six footer. So there's plenty lengthwise. Um, Ooh, so it can be a freestanding shelter as well as it is now. Low to the ground. Pulled out here and, uh, like I say, what turns it into the shape it is, is there's that zip. It's not quite done up to the top, that's done there. And there's uh, a fold of material on the inside, which should be just on the inside, come round and get pegged out. But yeah, I think that's got... Um, Bit of potential there, but what I'd like to see done with that, and it is a work in progress, is um, it's like a little, um, you know, a little laboon at the moment. It's got a pole inside there which will restrict your space. Um, but ladies and gents, seen a bit of a potential with this. Is it's really well made, seriously. Uh, it's all seam sealed and all that type of stuff, ladies and gents. But that hole here, imagine par two, two strands of paracord, rubber bung at the bottom, and then obviously a little bit of material over the top just to stop that. That coming up to about here on a ridge line or you know tied off to an overhanging branch, that's going to bring it off the ground a bit more um, with either bungee or shock cord at the ends. So it's just up higher, so you've got. Uh, that'll make a really, really nice shelter. Like I say, it's ever so small. Doesn't weigh a great deal. Yeah, but just imagine the whole thing just lifted uh, to, say, that top to about sort of there. And that's very much going to be like a, a tarpe tent. Yeah, I'll, um, yeah, I should have got it out and played with this a lot, lot sooner. I've had it for ages. Um, uh, AliExpress job. Really well made. I think it was somewhere in the region, the same price as you'll pay for a tarp. But as you saw there, it's, um, it can turn into a 3x3 three three tarp if you need it. Or 3x2.5 I reckon. But it that long, can't even remember none of the specs. But yeah, that was just lifted up a little bit. And you've got the ability to do that. You're going to get plenty of ventilation under there. Total coverage. Job done. I'll show you the inside now. This is the inside, ladies and gents. That's the flap that, that, that zips together. <laughs> Mr. Baldrick wants to come in. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah, that just needs to... You can have plenty of room under there. Get rid of your stick. Hang it from a ridge line or overhanging branch. Job done. I'm going to sew a loop on that and just peg that down into that corner. But yeah, no, I'm quite happy with this. Considering for what it weighs and so forth. And it's like me tart bees, you know, once... Uh, you get something right, yeah, it's got this work in progress, ladies and gents. But I'm liking that. Simple, not too much to go wrong with it either, and it's really well made. Yeah, ridge line from the hole, two metres higher, or even you know, you could just tie it off to like that wide branch there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because the further you come away, the better the camouflage is, to be perfectly honest. And uh, I'll go and undo that zip just so you can see what's wrong. But yeah, I think that's uh, not a bad little bit of kit. I'll look forward to coming out and giving that a proper run out next time. Just needs to be a bit higher. Uh, and that's who makes it gear top. Wasn't too expensive. Like I say, it is well made. And... Uh, it gives you a bit of a 
variation of what you want to do. Nice it. Because that could that be your actual way in and out as well. And you'll you'll do that. Have you been attacked by a baldric? Right. <laughs> push him away, mate. Push him away. He says, the way he gets away, he just snuck in. <laughs> no, he does. He, he's a cuddle monster. Yeah, ladies and gents. Yeah, I'm pretty uh, dapper with this. So that's up higher. Just a bit gutted I ain't got any sort of shot cord with me because I do shot cord, uh, you know, foot off the floor all the way around, and you're going to have loads of room in there, especially if it's going to a, uh, a ridge line. Um, you're going to have so much room in there, it's unbelievable, very nice, because it's just looking like a uh, lightweight, camouflaged um, top When it camouflage ups, um, up close looks a bit naff, you know, like Chinese camouflage. <laughs> um, but the further you get away, um, you, what you will see and what do stand out is the light colours really show through. So that's nice. Anyway. This is a work in progress. Yeah, looking forward to that. Maybe that's a, a way to get it. Like a, a lot of people like the old design of the tarpee that I had. I only had the material to do a few. But yeah, that's certainly got a, that's a work in progress. Okay, Here we see Mr. Baldrick. Making the, making the boy some tinder, didn't you, mate? Oh, there's Ted. <laughs> you done all right with the bacon and that today, didn't you? You said, oh, that's Ted, yeah. And the hamburgers. <laughs> So I like that lad, always give you a bit of his food. Baldy, give me that stick. Give me that stick. Baldy. Give me that stick. Yeah, no, that's a staffy stick, you couldn't get that one dead. Yeah, and as you come a little bit further back, you see what I mean by the camouflage? Yeah. You imagine that lifted up, say, 18 inches. That's a nice little shelter. I say it can turn into a tarp, which I've seen it all. Uh, you know, I've done it already, so I've certainly got a, uh, I'm going to have a little play with that. Very nice. Oh, you've probably got an old bushcraft on me now, so it's a bit traditional, yeah. isn't it, Oh, yes. Oh, very Modern, nice. with the paracord and the kettle. Yeah. Mates. But I like the way, you know, it's easy enough to do. You don't need the chains or anything like no, that, no, mate. No, Just no. a little stick and that. Yeah. It's a toggle, isn't it? Yeah. Toggle. Toggle. That's the one. Toggle. And, uh, that is the point. <laughs> he likes his hammock, doesn't he, mate? He likes his hammock. Yeah. I keep, like, Trying to desist from getting myself one of them kettles, mate. What Only because I've got, yeah, I've got a couple of other kettles that would probably do the same job, but that um, just looks on point, doesn't it? It's it's the romanticness of yeah. it. It's quite a fucking lump. I mean, when you put yeah. it away in the bag, and you know, when I put it, I mean, I've got a bit of old camouflage jacket yeah. to put it in, but it is a bit clumpy, but it's quite romantic. Yeah, no, well, like <laughs> yeah, that, oldie worldy like, romantic. You know. <laughs> that's the only sort of thing, you know. That's the only thing about it. Yeah. But it's yeah. quite a good kit. It's nice to sort of like... It'd last forever, mate, wouldn't it? Yeah, it should do. Yeah. Probably an heirloom passed it down to him there. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh, I thought that was you. Uh, whistling, mate. Well, ladies and gents, uh, cheers for coming over, mate. It's been a cracking little day. Yeah. Nice. Went too bad with the weather, really, was no, it? No, no, it was good. No. I think you, you enjoyed yourself on that, mate, yeah? Yeah, nice one. Quality time with your dad, sir. Priceless, priceless. Yeah, yeah. Had a little clear up, as you say. There's... Uh, one of the little fast guards and the other one's there, so it's all, it's all done, mate, isn't it? Yep. As we find it, there's a couple of like the lateral movement shelter on our little table, but yeah. people walk past it, and you know they do, mate, but nobody, nobody disturbs it, no. do they? So, and that's just about it. Done a bit of carving there, sir, haven't we? Yeah, I'm yeah, 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 and a uh, bit of whittling away there, pop a knife out of use a knife and the axe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's always kneel down, isn't it? Yeah. Kneel down and then have it, oh, yeah, extended. Well, that's that size, isn't it? Like, yeah. It's been a cracking little day, I'll say. Um, a little play about that one tiger was ten, and uh, a, a tarpee thing that I've just had forever. Just never really got it on point. As we get there, Mr. Baldrick. 
<laughs> You've done alright, Baldy, haven't you? It's all right. You've done alright, bacon, pancakes, and all sorts of things. Yeah, burgers. burgers. It's just... You'll sleep like a good one tonight, mate. Oh, yeah, and they'll fart like a good one as well. <laughs> yeah, anyway, mate, cheers for coming over. Always yeah, enjoy your company, mate. Nice no one. Worries. So, uh, ladies and gents, if you watch the film this for, thank you very much and uh, take care.